How's it going car people? It is Lucas here back with another car review. Today I present to you this 2015 Subaru Forester all-wheel drive. As always I will start it up, show you the engine, as well as show you around the interior and the exterior of the car. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The Forester also comes with these little Subaru emblem lights on the side mirrors, which would light up to the door handle at night. This Forester has a pro white exterior with a beige cloth interior. Driver's seat does have a seat cover on it. You do get a gauge sweep once you turn the ignition on. This Forester has 63,000 miles. Starts right up. All right, let's go ahead and cut on the headlights, as well as the hazards. The driver's side window is fully automatic. All right, let's go ahead and check out the exterior of the Forester. Around the exterior of the Forester, body-colored mirrors, body-colored door handles, tinted rear windows, roof rails up top. You have your radio antenna up top as well. Around back. Here are your rear tail lights, your Subaru all-wheel drive as well as Forester badging. This is a partial zero emission vehicle as well. You have your backup camera right here, rear wiper, third brake light, and a single exit exhaust. This Forester rides on Michelin tires. They are 22560 R17s, so you get 17-inch five-spoke Subaru alloy wheels. Your fuel cap is also on the passenger side, which you open from inside the car. Up front, halogen headlights, your Forester chrome front grille. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Forester is powered by a 2.5 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, horizontally opposed four cylinder engine. It produces 170 horsepower at 5,800 RPM and 174 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPM. It does 0 to 60 in 7.5 seconds and has a top speed of 122 miles an hour. It has a 15.9 gallon fuel tank and is estimated to get 24 miles per gallon city, 32 on the highway, and 27 combined. The Forester is all-wheel drive. As far as transmission options, it is available with either a 6-speed manual or a Lineartronic Continuously Variable Transmission or CVT. This particular one has the CVT. It features low gear selection. Upon putting it into reverse, the backup camera turns on. The backup camera does feature guidance lines. Coming back inside, you do have an 8-way power driver's seat right here, slide height adjustment recline to a lumbar. The passenger seat is a 4-way manual passenger seat which misses out on the lumbar as well as height adjustment. On the door panels, cloth materials, plastic up above, you have your power windows, power locks as well as power mirrors, storage down below with bottle holder. You do have WeatherTech floor mats in this Forester. Over here you have panel dim, traction control, right here there's the fuses. So, let's go ahead, hop inside, do a few revs, and see how it sounds. Has a 4000 RPM rev limiter. 
It's a very nice sounding boxer four cylinder engine. Let's go ahead and shut the door and roll the window up. Over here at the top of the dash of the Forester, you do have a little screen right here, which is currently displaying outside temperature, uh, fuel economy, as well as the clock. You do also have a few warning lights, the passenger airbag off warning light. These are the controls for this screen, which allow you to scroll through various things and info and back to the main menu. Over here you do have your radio controls. This is a good sounding radio. You do have your seek track buttons right here, six preset stations, it is AM, FM. You can scan the radio, here's your tuning knob, volume knob, as well as a little display. Right over here you do have the text which displays the name of the song that's currently playing. Volume level also shows up on the screen, which is convenient. Down here, you'd have single zone manual climate control. You have fan speed right here. Different zones, front and rear defrost. Temperature settings right here. Down here, little storage with 12 volt power outlet. Heated seats for the driver as well as the passenger. Your e-brake, cup holders storage. Inside your glove box, you do have all your owner's literature. The steering wheel is a three-spoke design steering wheel, which feels nice and smooth. <laughs> Loud horn. Over here, you do have your audio controls, voice recognition, as well as Bluetooth phone controls. Over here, you have the controls for that screen that I showed you earlier on, over here up on the dash. Over here, you have your cruise control settings. The steering wheel is also manually tilting and telescoping. To the left, You'd have your headlight controls as well as turn signals. To the right, your wiper controls. On the gauge cluster, you have your tachometer off to the left. Right here is your trip meter. You can scroll through trip A and B. And on the display, you have your shift indicator, trip meter, odometer, and fuel gauge. On the right, your speedometer. Grip handles for the driver. Sun visor with vanity mirror. Auto dimming rear view mirror with compass. Sunglass container. Lights as well as a full power sunroof. It's one touch automatic. It does bring the shade along, which is convenient. You can also just bring it back and have just a glass. All right, so that's basically it for up front. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. Coming around to the back seat, your beige cloth does carry through, as well as your door panels do as well with your cloth padded armrest, power windows, bottle holder down below. You do have all weather floor mats for the rear as well. Hopping inside. The Forester does have a good amount of back seat room. I'm 6'1", this seat is in my driving position. I've got a nice amount of leg room, a good amount of head room. It's actually pretty nice back here in the back seat of the Forester. Dual seat mat pockets, center armrest with cup holders. You have lights up above. Not bad. Let's go ahead and check out trunk space. Coming around to the trunk of the Forester, go ahead and press the membrane under the Subaru logo to open it. There is some stuff back here, but it is a pretty good, well sized trunk. 12 volt power outlet. The seats do fold in a 60-40 split fashion. Underneath there is a spare tire. Overall, it's a pretty good hauler. All right, so that's basically it for the entire car. Let's go ahead and shut it down.
So all of that is going to conclude the review on the 2015 Subaru Forester all-wheel drive. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like or a comment. Subscribe today if you haven't. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.